Okay, in today's video, we are going to be talking about electric potential difference. And we're going to be specifically talking about electric potential difference as it relates to parallel plates and not necessarily point charges. Parallel plates are different because they have a uniform electric field. So we have these two parallel plates, one is positively charged, one is negatively charged, and we have a charge, some negatively charged object, an electron, or some other negatively charged object that we're going to be moving between those plates. Now, before we talk specifically about potential and potential difference, I just want to point out that there are these terms, electric potential energy, electric potential, and potential difference that all sound very similar, but some of these things are very different from each other. Specifically, electric potential energy is measured in joules, okay? Just like any kind of potential energy or any kind of energy, electric potential energy is measured in joules. We say electric potential energy or the change in electric potential energy. We don't say electric potential energy difference. You'll notice over here we have electric potential, usually referred to as just potential, and potential difference, sometimes referred to as electric potential difference. These are measured in joules per coulomb, which we call the volt, all right? So these have this word, um, are just referred to often as potential and potential difference. This is electric potential energy, or we would say the change in electric potential energy, not electric potential energy difference, okay? So those terms are different from each other, and hopefully we'll get a sense about how they're different and how they're related um, in this video. Now, electric potential difference, the definition for electric potential difference is this. It's the change in potential energy per unit of charge. So here we have this charge, which we can move back and forth between these plates, and we're going to figure out the potential difference, and the potential difference is the change in potential energy of this charge per unit of this charge. And we write that down mathematically like this. Potential has the symbol V. Potential difference is delta V. This triangle means, we say this delta, which means the change in potential. And as our equation says, the change in potential, potential difference is equal to the change in potential energy, delta UE, the change in electric potential energy, divided by the amount of charge that we move between those plates. Now, potential energy has the unit joule. Charge is a coulomb, joules per coulomb. So the unit for potential difference is a joule per coulomb. But we abbreviate joule per coulomb as the volt, and we write that as an abbreviation as V. So one volt, which we abbreviate as V, is one joule per coulomb. All right? Now, this is the definition as we write it out in words. This is the definition as we would write it out as an equation, and this is a very important equation, which you should remember. But if you're taking AP Physics, that this equation written out like this is on your equation sheet. And basically, this says that the change, well, all we did was cross multiply and solve for the change in potential energy. So the change in electric potential energy is equal to the amount of charge and the potential difference through which that charge is moved. So if we take this charge and we move it from the positive plate where it wants to be to the negative plate where it doesn't want to be, we have to apply a force over distance, and we move that charge through that potential difference, and we get the amount of electric potential energy or the change in electric potential energy. Now also, if we move that charge and gave it potential energy, we must have done some work on that charge. So the change in potential energy, as you should remember from mechanics and conservation of energy, is also equal to, the work we did is also equal to the potential energy change, which therefore is also equal to the amount of charge and the potential difference through which it is moved. So you can figure out how much work you did in giving that charge that much potential energy, or how much work you did in moving that charge through that potential difference. Okay, now the charge is there. If we release it, it doesn't want to be there. It's going to move back down, so to speak. And therefore, it's going to be losing some potential energy as it comes back. But where does that potential energy go? Well, once again, through mechanics and conservation of energy, you should remember that that's equal to 
um, as, as the charge loses potential energy, it's going to be converted into kinetic energy. So the amount of kinetic energy that it would gain as it moves back would be, again, equal to the amount of charge times the potential difference. Okay, now once again, this equation is on your equation sheet. These two equations are not, but you should remember based on your relationships um, for mechanics and for um, conservation of energy that all three of these things are kind of like essentially equal to each other. All right, now at the end of this video, I'm going to put some links to some other videos I made going through these mathematical and these relationships so that you get a better feel for how these things work with parallel plates. Okay, it's good to practice a few problems. It'll give you a sense conceptually and mathematically about how those things work. Okay, we did that. Now we're going to do one more thing. And in order to do that, we're going to go back to our definition of mechanical of a potential difference. The potential difference is equal to the change in potential energy per unit of charge. Now, in a previous video, I went through and showed you how to calculate the change in potential energy. And one way we can do that is the change in potential energy is equal to the amount of charge, the electric field strength, E is for the electric field, so the magnitude of the electric field, and again, we have a uniform electric field, and the distance between the plates. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute QED for the change in potential energy in this equation in our definition. And we get that the potential difference is equal to the change of potential energy, which we can calculate QED divided by the amount of charge. This Q and this Q are this charge, so they are the same charge. So we can, we can cancel these two and we're basically dividing out the charge. So you get from that, that the change in potential between those two plates, the potential difference between those two plates is simply equal to the electric field strength times the distance between the plates, okay? And um, you will notice that the change in potential energy is equal to the amount of charge, excuse me, is directly related to the amount of charge. But the potential difference between parallel plates is only related to the electric field strength and the, and the distance between those plates. This equation you can only use for parallel plates because in order to use this equation, you have to have a uniform electric field. With parallel plates, you have a uniform electric field. With point charges, you do not have a uniform electric field. Okay, so that's very important. Parallel plates, uniform electric field, you can use this equation. Now, this equation is also on your physics, AP physics equation sheet, except it's not written like this. It's written like this, that the electric field is equal to the potential difference divided by what they call delta R, and delta R is the separation between the plates, but it simply also refers to the distance between the plates. So this equation is an important one to keep in mind, but it's written like this on your AP Physics equation sheet, especially for the new AP Physics 2013-2014 equation sheet. On the old sheet, it says D down here, but it's the same thing. Delta R is the separation between the plates. Now, let's look at this. I think this is another very interesting thing. Volts, potential difference is measured in volts distance separation is measured in meters. That means that in this case, the electric field has the units volts per meter. Well, you should remember earlier we said that the electric field has the units newtons per coulomb, and that's what it is by definition, the newtons of force per coulomb of charge. Well, how come it's volts per meter? Well, volts per meter is equal to newton per coulomb, and this is how that works. Okay, this is another fascinating aspect of this topic volts is joules per coulomb. So we can kind of look as a, expand a volt into a joule per coulomb. Well, joule per coulomb is also a newton meter. Okay, so joules can be expanded into a newton meter. So now we have newton meter per coulomb. We have meter here, 
and meter up here, and those meters will cancel, and we're left with simply left with newtons per coulomb. So electric field, the units are newtons per coulomb, and a volt per meter is the same thing as a newton per coulomb. Okay, so that's how those things work. All right, so we did a lot in this video. I think um, one of the main things is we talked about the definition. This is the equation we use for the definition. The potential difference is equal to the change in potential energy, electric potential energy, divided by the unit of charge. Then we talked about this equation. This equation is on your AP Physics web sheet, equation sheet. It's also equal to the amount of work and the change in kinetic energy. And then we talked about this equation, how we can use this equation to figure out the potential difference, or in this case, um, the electric field, but that this equation can only be used for parallel plates which have a uniform electric field. Okay, thank you for watching. Here are the links to those other videos where you can do a little, uh, do a few simple problems and do some practice on calculating potential difference or kinetic energy and separation between the plates. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment. Yes or no, did you like that? Was that helpful in the comment section below? And we will see you in the next video.